Hey guys, I'm here for another computer update. I actually do have some major updates. This should impress you guys. First off, let's start off with the new monitor I have. I have a 23 inch HP monitor. It's full 1080p, 1920 by 1080p resolution. And I, of course, have it on the HDMI resolution. Second off, this Silverstone USB 3.0 3.5 inch bay. It does hold two 2.5 inch hard drives so hence I'm I put my solid state drive on there. Secondly we have this. My LG Super Multi Blue internal Blu-ray disc rewriter. For some reason it's like one of the best optical drives, but it's the cheapest at Fry's. And of course, it did come with this. The Blu-ray disc recordable. 25 gigs in size, which I think is incredible. So let me open up the case and show you some more things. Here's the inside of my computer case. I understand I do have those overhanging wires from the ceiling fans. I actually moved that 120 millimeter fan up to the second ceiling fan and um, I do have a new power supply it's a Corsair GS 600 the GS stands for gaming series um, I do have a new wireless card right there it's in the top PCI Express times one slot it is this product right here. It's the wireless N300 PCI Express desktop adapter. It does support Windows 7 right here. It says on the left. Anyways, my graphics card is still the same. Right here is the port to my USB 3.0. And um, at the bottom, as you can see, I did sort of put the unnecessary cables at the bottom and then just put them behind here. I understand that it still does look a little messy, but I'm still doing whatever I can to work on cable management. Um, also, I have been trying to do whatever I can with this 8-pin um, adapter. Um, I did manage to run these um, motherboard cables, the power switch and the hard drive LED behind the case from here behind and then to up here. Did the same with the USB and the audio port. The GS600 comes with six SATA power connectors. Two, six plus two pin graphics card adapters, which I think is incredible. And, um, so, yeah. Let me just close this thing up and fire it up. Alright, I got the thing closed up. I'm gonna fire it up now. That's the noise of the power supply when it wakes up. I think what it's trying to say is wake up to the computer parts. There's my Asus splash screen. And it's starting Windows 7. Um, around the monitor there are some black spots. The entire screen doesn't fill the entire monitor, but I'm not too mad about that. Um, still got my dual cores. I will upgrade soon. Um, 
these three programs right here that are the ones that came with the the Blu-ray optical drive. I did find a crack of Cyberlink Power DVD 12, in which I used. Um, what I also did is um, I decided to um, I decided to uh, never mind I even though the cable management in the back isn't that great I'm still doing whatever I can to improve I know it does require case modding but I'm not going there just yet this is the configuration utility for my network card for those of you who haven't used power DVD remote it's a very cool program it's for the smartphones as you can see you have to have your Wi-Fi turned on in order to pick it up but for some reason it doesn't want to load but anyways you get the idea anyways um, here's the side of my case I did put the fans at the lowest speeds on the fan controller so let me adjust that fan number one which is this one right here is probably like louder than the other fans I'm gonna leave fan number one alone all right and as you can tell I mounted the power supply with the fan on the bottom because of the because I do have radiation on the bottom of the case. So that should about do it. I understand it's not very good mo cable management, but if you have any other ideas for cable management, just post in the link below. I really do appreciate your help. So, that about does it for my computer update. I hope you enjoyed, and that's about it.